is a powerful tool of expression. It can be an outlet to share personal experiences to a sympathetic but perhaps unfamiliar audience. And one woman in Ohio is combining her love of painting and her lifelong struggle with migraines to show what she feels during her difficult flare-ups. When I see it, I'm not just seeing it, I'm a part of these visions. They start at the top, bold, warm colors that reflect the intensity of artist Priya Rama's recurring subject. It's typically kind of just mostly dark with some light, but then you start to see little dots of color, little bursts. Suddenly it's almost like a door is open and then the colors just explode. Rama, a lifelong painter, finds inspiration in her severe migraines and paints what she feels and sees. That act of painting the migraine has changed everything for me. It kind of uh, slows your breathing down and makes it much more smooth and sort of regular. You start to take longer breaths without you realizing. Rama is able to paint her migraines entirely from memory, a skill that allows her to capture the vivid imagery after the pain subsides. My paintings are almost like photos or snapshots of different moments from different migraines. The more intense migraine, the more warm that co the colors are. So it's very sort of dark red, dark brown, deep red. And then as the migraine is sort of winding down or it's on its way out, then the colors become very light and faint light blues, light greens. Rama's vibrant pieces have earned her praise and attention. Her latest show, Inside Out, showcases her paintings alongside original poems, also inspired by her experiences with migraines. Type, type. So then I did like a grouping, so then one doesn't stand out. Because Two of my grandsons had migraines, and they've seen her work and just, you know, that's the way it is, Grandma, you know, this is, this is great. Her work is particularly poignant for others who suffer from migraines, chronic pain, or head injuries. As an artist who has had a brain injury, her artwork brings back memories of dealing with the loss of reality and changes of how you see things. Dealing with chronic pain, it's often a very lonely individual experience. So when they see my work, they, some of them feel validated that they're not going crazy, that it is something that they are experiencing. Because here is somebody, me, with physical pieces of the paintings to share what the different migraines look like. So it's given me a purpose now. A purpose and practice she encourages other people with migraines to embrace. I love to talk to people about the importance of engaging in creativity when dealing with chronic illness, chronic pain, loss, whatever the creativity might be. It doesn't have to be a finished painting that you're going to go hang on the wall. It could be scribbles, it could be doodles, whatever you want. It's allowed me to let go of all the anger. I'm much more um, at peace now with my condition. When beauty accompanies the pain, I had to follow it. It just took me a while to understand that message about my own life. Anne-Marie Green, CBS News. This program is brought to you in part by Ubrelvi.